Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mink and this is Mink's Kinks. Hey y'all, we got a couple elephants to address before we go ahead and start this video. So first things first, I apologize if my voice sounds different. I am still recovering from my tonsil removal. So I'm not sure when you guys will see um, this video or that vlog and everything, but it, um, girl, friend, it has been, um, a difficult recovery so I'm finally starting to get back to normal <coughs> thank God okay um so my voice is still recovering a bit there's scabs in the back of my throat and that's what's um, altering my voice so I'll be back to normal sooner or later but and then our second is that your girl got some got her hair done okay you know what I'm saying and not only did um, I get my hair done but baby girl I did it by myself and I do have a vlog on how I, or not a vlog, a tutorial on how I achieve these, like, they're Senegalese rope twist situations, but this is what they look like, and I think I did a pretty darn good job, if I do say so myself. But, as you guys read by the title, we have yet another empties video, y'all. And this, y'all already did my empties bag, and it is, it's like full, y'all, like, I don't know what I've been doing. To finish these products so quickly but like i feel like i just filmed the empties video so i don't want this video to be too long i don't want to talk too much if you are new around here go ahead hit the subscribe button join our kinky crew family we would love to have you as y'all are seeing we're getting so close to a thousand subscribers i'm telling y'all i am telling y'all when we get to that thousand subscriber giveaway that's something you're going to want to be here for so make sure you hit that subscribe button turn on your notification bells and leave me a like please because those really help my videos it really helps my channel grow and definitely if you are new around here comment me um something down below so that i know that you're new here so that i can personally welcome you so y'all already know the drill and how i do my empties videos i'm just pulling stuff up out the bag it is a very mixed bag there's body care there's natural hair stuff it's a little bit of everything but let's go ahead and get right into it so the first thing I pulled up out the bag is this Shining Jam, and this is the 4 ounce one. I use these for um, my twist, and actually I should have got the bigger one because it wasn't enough. I ended up having to use the edge control, which is in this bag too. But um, as y'all can see, it is gone, gone. Shining Jam is always my go-to when I do braids and twists and styles with extensions just so that my hair blends in with the added hair. It, I just don't be trying nothing else. Shiny Jam is the way to go. Next, y'all, I went ahead and finished the last conditioner I was using. This is the Urban Hydration Jamaican Castor Oil and Avocado Coconut Oil Co-Wash and Conditioner. So, I do have a review on this, so I won't talk too much about it. Wasn't my favorite conditioner. I probably, I wouldn't repurchase this. It was 16.9 ounces. I picked it up from Marshalls. It was like $5.99. I've had it in my stash for literal years. Um, years, hear me. Um, I wouldn't repurchase it though, but you know, it was cool that I actually finally finished it. Next is a body product, and it is actually from Cantu. This is the um, Cocoa Butter Enriched with Oils and Vitamin E Hydrating Body Cream for Very Dry Skin. It's 8.5 ounces. Y'all, I like this. Like, really, really like this. Um, I've decided that this year, I talked a lot more about like body care and skincare on my channel. So, at the end of the year, y'all know I do my week of favorites or um, my week of uploads leading up to Christmas. It's called Minx Miss. Mm hmm. Um, so during Minx Miss, I think I'm gonna do, um, a favorite, like, body care product that I've tried. Like, some of the how to do, I do, like, my hair products and stuff. I think I'm gonna do one for body care because I tried this year, this, this year. Mm hmm And I love it. It's perfect for the winter. Um, it's a thicker lotion. I wonder if there's some in here. This is all I could get off of it. But it's, like, a thicker lotion. It has a light, you know, nutty type of smell. Nothing crazy. But this was really, really good. And when it says 24-hour moisture, it means it. This is a really, really good lotion. My mom didn't like it, and she gave me hers. Which, shout out to my mom. Um, because I, I liked it. I would pick it up. Next, y'all, I have a hand soap. This is the White Tea and Sage from Bath & Body Works. Eight ounces. Y'all y'all know when they be having the hand soaps for like $3.75. This is one I picked up. It smells like White Tea and Sage. I do like it. It's a very clean scent. This was one I think I 
I think I had it in my kitchen. So I really like this one. It is a scent I would pick up again. Next y'all is another body care item. This is a deodorant. It is Secrets Essential Oils Lavender and Eucalyptus. So y'all, I really did like this deodorant. I'm typically a secret girl. Um, it, it just works best for me. Um, and I really did like this, but this was a little bit expensive. It was like $11.99. Like, girl, what? Um, and I think I picked it up just because I was like having a bad day. Y'all know when you having a bad day, you walk around Target and you pick up things that you typically wouldn't buy. Yeah, it was one of them type of days. And I picked it up and I really did like it. And I like the lavender scent. Y'all know I'm a lavender girl through and through. But for me, it was just overpriced. Like for what? Um, this one does have the aluminum in it. But it's free of parabens and dyes. So... It was good. Would I repurchase it if I caught it on sale? Next, y'all know it would not be an empties without my babe, my boo, my best friend. This is the Just For Me Tender Headed Pre Poo Shampoo Detangler. And need I say more? She's gone. Like, gone, 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 gone. Like, y'all know this is my favorite pre poo. There's nothing much to say about it. I have. It's in every empty I've done since I've tried it, literally. Um, I probably finished at least almost 10 since i've tried it i love this pre-poo highly recommend it's inexpensive in sally's um i think it's in walmart i don't know i i love this product i go out of my way to get this product there's a sally's that i have to pass to get to my house i pick these up two at a time okay y'all interesting so next is a product that is not finished this is the honey's handmade healthy hydration mask y'all know that i no longer support honey's handmade um the video will be linked up above need I say more um but y'all know that I finished my products so I have a whole honey's handmade store um that is right behind me that I no longer show my stash from them anymore um so I went and looked in the stash to see another mask that I may want to use um just to use it up because we're using it up um and I was gonna try this one this is the honey healthy hydration hair mask and when I open it up, girl, there is mold in here. My camera isn't focusing on it, but there's just like little brown particles that are sitting right on top. And mm -mm. so this is one in the trash. I will say I don't blame Honey's Handmade for this. I've had this product in particular for at least a year or two. Um, I never used it, but it does have the mold on it. I know you're not supposed to keep hair products that long. I do. Um, and I typically only throw hair products away if it's like the color's weird, it wasn't like the original color, if it smells weird, and then of course if there's mold. So this has to go. And then since we're talking about Honey's Handmade, I had another product that went bad. And this is from Melba's Kenya Collection Edition 3. This is the Peach Cobbler High Def Twisting Butter. And what I will say is that how the other one, I had that for minimum two years. This one I had just bought the Kitchen Collection Edition 3 last year i want to say the collection is like re-releasing it's like right before summertime i think i'm not sure if it's out or not now couldn't tell you i don't keep up with honeys no more um but i was disappointed that this one went bad so quickly never used it never touched it i did the unboxing and it went on my shelf um but again there's that like brown mold on it so i think that you guys are able to see this one a little bit better but there's just like a brown filter on top and mm -mm, I'm not putting that in my hair. So this one, it just hit a year old. Um, it's going in the trash. Next is another hair product, and this is a hair product I am so freaking happy to finish. This is the Curls of Assange Salted Caramel Brown Sugar Scalp Scrub. And when I tell y'all, I cleared this thing out. I actually really really enjoyed this product there's a lot of issues with the company um, from what I've been hearing um, people not getting their orders people not getting responded back to orders coming six months later so um, I did like quite mm, I like a good three products from the brand from what I tried um, I'm not gonna say I won't purchase from them again but I need them to you know reel it in because if I don't get my products for six months it's gonna be a problem so hopefully she gets her gets herself together um, and then I would repurchase but as of right now okay y'all so next I have two products that I don't have here physically with me but I wrote down to let you guys know that I finished 
and the first is the almond dr bronner's bar soap so i'll insert a pop-up somewhere on the screen but y'all know i'm a dr bronner's girl i've never had the bar of soap before but it's just like a regular bar of soap um just dr bronner's ver version so um i would repurchase i love the almond one i've had it in the liquid form and now the the bar i like them both um i don't necessarily have a preference between the bar or the um jar of y'all know the bottle the uh, soap <laughs> um i probably would get the bottle because it's like 4.99 5.99 i want to say for the the bar of soap so it's good for travel or something like that but i feel like i just get more bang for my buck out of the bottle i usually pick them up from marshall's and they're like 11.99 and they last me forever because it's just me in my house so um i like the almond scent i would repurchase it again i would repurchase the bar again that's just it and then next i have a uh, orange foot hummus situation from lush i'll have it linked i'll have everything linked down below if i can find everything also side note um i'm thinking about making an amazon storefront so um if i can find everything i'll put it in there if not i'll find other links and stuff for y'all to find it but if i do figure out how to set up the amazon storefront it basically is as if you click the link if you buy the products from not from me but like if you buy them from based on my recommendation that's the words mm -hmm. um but if you buy them based off of my recommendations i get like the tiniest the smallest um bit of compensation from that i guess so it's not it's not like an affiliate it's not like girl i don't know how to explain it but basically i just get a little bit of proceeds from your purchase to it basically go back goes back to the channel y'all so for equipment for products for me to review all that type of stuff that's basically what it would do if you do purchase through the links i really would appreciate it if you don't girl it's fine don't don't think too much about it i do appreciate it i appreciate you guys watching my video i definitely appreciate the people who watch my videos to the end so thank you next y'all i have the maui moisture um volcanic ash exfoliating scrub um, y'all know that right now I'm well not right now but I'm in the process of using up the mask from this collection and that's what made me pick this up I picked it up from Ross and it was only $5.99 so I was like girl why not it was more like a jelly consistency but it's completely gone um I did like it I would pick it up if I saw it in like a Ross TJ Maxx type of place um would I pick this over like one of my tree hut scrubs no um but I did like it it was still semi abrasive but i also like the jelly consistency that i had that it had so it was something different and i liked it so i would definitely buy it again next is another product here this is the gillette satin skincare ultra sensitive shave gel i really like this one there's only two shave gels i would really repurchase and this is one of them um i like it it's a shave gel it's good for my skin at least my skin soft it doesn't irritate me and yet i, I buy them in the two pack it's like 5.99 or something and it gets the job done next y'all i have a little travel size of the japanese cherry blossom from um, bath and body works it's three ounces i feel like japanese cherry blossom is an endless scent i like it this was the first bath and body works like body shower gel you know that type of situation i just never used them you know before for whatever reason always the body lotions never these i only use them for like bubble baths and stuff but i tried it as a shower gel and i actually really liked it so much so that when they had their semi-annual sale i picked up two um because i have the matching body lotions and i plan to use them in the summertime because they don't they don't have a moisture for me to last during the winter so i picked two of them up um just to like get the full experience but it was really good and i i love the japanese cherry blossom scent i have a body lotion this was one of said scents that i picked up next y'all is another hair product this is again from honey's handmade this is the melba's kitchen collection edition three melba's leave-in hair shake um it was four ounces this was the mystery product from edition three and um it wasn't great for me um it was just a leave-in conditioner it, it moisturizes not for long periods for me um but it was cool there's not much to say about it i'm not repurchasing from honey's handmade so that's that next was a body lotion this is from Coors. i finished 
um, a body wash from them. I think I might have finished another body lotion. This is the Lily Bouquet scent and it is 7.9 ounces. I actually really did like this. Um, it's really good. I'm just about finished with the body wash. So y'all see that in my next empties. Um, it was cool. Um, the lotion was very good, very hydrating. I like the scent. It's just not my favorite scent. I had the olive oil one. Um, I used that body wash. I still have the body lotion somewhere around here. Um, I like the olive oil scent more. This is just more floral. It's not a bad floral. It's not a heavy floral. It's just, I prefer the olive oil one. So I would repurchase this just in a different scent. Next y'all is a body oil. This is the Best Buds Hemp Body Oil. It was $5.99 at Marshalls. Um, I really liked it. This is the lavender with avocado oil. Um, I don't know. I use body oils very randomly. Sometimes I just use them like the night before. And then I know I'm wearing a dress and I have to re-lotion in the morning. That type of thing. Um, I really liked it. It was cool. Am I going to go out of my way to find it? No. Um, but I would repurchase it if I saw it at Marshalls or TJ Maxx or something again. Yeah. Next y'all, I finished another oil. This is a hair one. This is from Eden Body Works. This is the Lavender Aloe Growth Oil. Um, I don't believe products that say they're a growth oil. This one was no different. I actually wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of this oil. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't good. I just didn't see it doing a whole lot for my hair. So I mixed some herbs in here like I usually do with products that I'm not super pressed about i don't know it was just okay i didn't like that the it's the second ingredient is perfume which for what um like y'all know i did a review on this entire collection and it was just a miss for me so i wouldn't repurchase this oil no that is actually not a lot from the lavender and aloe line i would repurchase at all next y'all is my absolute favorite face wash this is the soap and glory um, vitamin C facial wash and I absolutely love 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 this it is my favorite it comes in this big jar it's 11.8 ounces it's like 10.99 or so but um, it has like little exfoliating beads in there so you exfoliate your face um, it's sort of minty but not not too minty y'all like it's just it's just perfect like I love this face wash face wash I can't wait to finish the other things that I have so I can go ahead and pick me up another I love this. I know that I put Lady Smash onto this and I know that she's been loving it. So go get this. It's at Target. Go get it. Next y'all is one of my absolute, 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 absolute favorite body products. This is the Gold Bond Ultimate Moisturizing Body Butter and it's the Radiance Renewal Whipped Shea Butter. Y'all, I've been looking high and low. High and low for this body butter but i think they discontinued it y'all and i hate to bring it to y'all because it's empty 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 i want to repurchase y'all this is something that everybody should have <laughs> and i'm trying to look for something similar the cantu is really good and i guess it is similar but i prefer this this was my absolute favorite body product hands down hands down hands down no questions about it I absolutely love this and I'm going to be going through trying different gold bond products because this this was a hit a hit okay y'all only a couple products left the next one I have is the style factor edge booster extra strength rich moisture pomade this is what it looks like I actually really really like this this worked out really good it was $8.99 my friend um she lives in Philly or did live in Philly at the time she picked it up for me because she knows I struggled with edge controls and she really liked this and y'all this I scraped this clean it was really really good it worked well towards the end it started to flake but I think that's because it was going old so I just used this up again on the rest of my braids um, where I needed to do some touch-ups and finish everything up so this was really good I didn't I haven't found this in the beauty supply store that I go to um, so I just picked up a different edge control girl next y'all y'all know it would not be an empties video if i didn't have these little bath and body works hand sanitizers i have four of them there's the linen and lavender i have the white t-shirt i have a lavender and vanilla and then sweater weather so i finished all four of these i love these little hand sanitizers i keep one in my purse i keep one in my car um and i, I go through them all the time because we're still in a pandemic <laughs> um so yeah i will always repurchase them 
Okay, y'all, so another product I finished was just these little Yoni pearls. I do have a review on these on my channel, so I'll make sure, of course, I link that up above if I still have any cards left. Um, I like Yoni semen. I already purchased these. Next, I have another one of these little pink um, honey scrubs. It's honey and sugar. Um, it was gifted to me. It's not my favorite scrub. I got like two uses out of this. Would I repurchase it? No. I have one of the little Bath & Body Works plugins. This was the Sun Drenched Linen. It's a staple scent. I love it. I finished the chapsticks, which girl, you know, it is very hard to come by. I'll link it down below. Down below, I forget the name of it. I'll make sure there's a pop-up or something that comes up on the screen. But these are my absolute favorite chapsticks. I love them. And they're probably some of the ones I'll only repurchase. And lastly, y'all, I have this Shea Moisture Eye Cream. It's from the Kakui Nut and Grapeseed Oils Youth Infusing Eye Cream. And it has mineral light reflectors. I got most of the way through this. So hopefully y'all can see that there's just that little corner up at the top that I didn't finish. But it started to get like a little crusty and hard. And I didn't want to put it on anymore. This is another product I've had for way too long. It's been literal years. Um, but it takes so little. It takes so, so little. And I'm not really consistent with my under eye care. So, um... This was cool while I had it, but it's time to try something new. So y'all, y'all know I am on a goal to finish 150 products this year and I've been moving. So let me go ahead and count these products up and then we'll finish out the video. Okay, you guys. So this round of empties, I finished 28 products, which rounds us up to 72 products. Girl, I mean, I've really been challenging myself to finish up the products that I have. Y'all know that I have stashes. Not just my hair stash, but I have body lotions, I have body washes, I have skincare, I have a million books. So I've been really challenging myself to get through these products because I just don't need to have all of this stuff. Um, Y'all know that I moved earlier this year and <laughs> transporting all this, these products was girl ghetto. So I'm grateful that I have been finishing products this year. I think last year I finished like 120 something. So um, as of right now, we are on the road. To finish 150 products and 72 and it's only june as i'm recording this right now not sure when y'all are gonna see this but i'm really really proud of myself so make sure you comment down below and let me know what type of things y'all have been finishing um is it hair care is it body care are you buying right now and not finishing because i know what that's like as well so yeah you guys i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope that you guys are also making your way through your stash uh-huh um, so yeah, you guys, I love you so much. Um, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.